I am so excited. Today is day three of my early morning routine and I had set my alarm for 4.30 this morning and at 4.24 a.m. I open my eyes, I look at my watch and I see that it's 4.24 a.m. and I'm like, let's do this. And I jumped out of the bed excited and eager to start my day. I am so excited that I've decided to get back into this early morning start to the day, day three, and today's Friday, November 2nd, I believe. Yep, November 2nd. And uh, the question today is, well, the question for me right now, not just today, but the question is that I'm asking myself, am I gonna do this on the weekends as well? Am I gonna do this Monday through Friday or seven days a week? And I'm thinking I'm gonna do it on the weekends also. Why not? I love the early morning routine. So, or I keep saying routine, I don't have a routine. I just love the early morning start to the day. I've gotta work on my language because routine does kind of imply that if you have an early morning routine, this is a, a set pattern of things that you do on a pretty consistent basis each morning. I don't have that. Don't even know that I'm looking forward to creating one of those. I just want to maintain the consistent behavior or habit or whatever you wanna call it of getting up and being out of bed by 4.31 a.m. and specifically further than that, starting whatever it is I wanna do at 5 a.m. That at 5 a.m. I'm shaved, I'm my teeth are brushed, I, I'm dressed for whatever it is that I wanna do at 5 a.m. Is that 5 a.m. start my workout? Is that 5 a.m. start for two hours of creativity, of vlog creation? Is it writing email newsletters? Right at this moment in time, I love the freedom to choose every morning what it is I'm going to do at 5 a.m. So, yeah, it's success, I love it. So, anyway, today's vlog is not all about the morning routine. The, you know, there's previous vlog episodes. If you wanna know how I get myself motivated to do things, go check out vlog episode number 230 from yesterday. Real quick, first thing that I'll share with you, um, I will have to edit this in afterwards, but I broke down in Abigail yesterday. First time ever, check it out. It finally happened. I knew it would. I knew when I bought this car, this would eventually happen. I knew that when I purchased a 45-year-old Volkswagen Beetle, I would eventually break down on the side of the road. And the crazy thing is, I know nothing about cars and engines. I have no doubt that the average guy that grew up with their dads working on cars together, they would have been able to pop the, the hood in the back and they'd be off and running 10, 15 minutes tops. Me, however, that's what I have AAA for. <laughs> Well, this car, you we could, you and I together could pick it up. Oh, I believe it's only about a thousand pounds of us, something like that. Yeah. So yeah, I broke down. Uh, not a big deal. I expected it when I purchased the car. Everything's all good. She's at the shop, getting well cared for. Um, she needed to go in for maintenance anyway, just to get that oil change, get those valves adjusted, and all the things that you're supposed to do with a classic bug. So yeah. Um, <laughs> I needed an excuse to get her up there anyway, and well, I got my leverage. <laughs> she needed work. She needed she needed to tow either home or to the shop. She got the tow to the shop. Anyway, so that, that happened yesterday. Completely changed the trajectory of what I was going to do yesterday and when I was going to do it. Not a big deal. Uh, some things got pushed off till today. And the good news is that the most important stuff that I wanted to do, because I got up at 4.30 in the morning, it got done in the morning. And because I got up at 4.30 this morning, the most important things I wanted to do today were already done before 7 a.m. I love this stuff. All right, uh, real quickly about this morning uh, non-routine, this early morning deal. Uh, one of those things that I'm concerned about is how does this impact Stephanie and I working out together? Uh, without the early morning routine, Stephanie will get up around six o'clock in the morning, she does this morning routine with the kids, getting them ready for school. And then I'm usually downstairs. I, I would get out of bed around 6.30, 6.45, and I'd be downstairs in my gym clothes, ready to go to the gym. We'd head out the door at 7 a.m. And 
my hope was that, well, I know that I'm not gonna start working out at 4.30 a.m. because w then Stephanie would have to work out by herself or you know, I'm not looking to do two workouts right now. All of that stuff had popped into my mind as options and stuff, but it's not what I was going for. I, was, I wanted to find a way and I had been working it so that uh, these past three days, I'd get up at 4.30, I'd be ready to go at five, I'd come down here, do two hours of creativity or whatever it is I wanna do, and at seven o'clock, I'd be ready to head to the gym with her. Well, the good news is that on Wednesday, that's exactly how things went down. Yesterday, she was dressed for the gym, but decided, eh, you know, I think I'm gonna wait until later. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I ended up waiting until later as well. And then of course, everything that happened with Abigail and everything got pushed off. And well, by the end of the day, I didn't work out. Now you might think, well, did you, uh, did you totally screw up your commitment to six days a week every week for the rest of your life? No. The reality is, is I've, I had worked out the previous six days. So I had already had six days in a row. Just so happened that I took Thursday off last week. And so I took Thursday off this week and I was back at it today. Now I got out of bed this morning and I can't, you know, when I went back upstairs, to go get changed for, actually no, I put I actually put on workout clothes this morning because I wasn't recording vlog episodes. Instead, I used my creativity time to write some email newsletter content that for some of the vlogs that I created, there's some emails that are gonna go out in my newsletter in the future uh, to go along with that. And that's what I did with my creativity time. So I knew that going into today, what I was going to do, that vlog content was not happening before the gym. So I dressed in my workout clothes. But at seven o'clock when I went upstairs, Stephanie's like in her pajamas. And she's had that before. And she's like, hey, no problem. The kids are off to school. I'm going to go up and change my workout clothes. We'll leave at 7.15. Not a big deal. Today I said, are you ready to go to the gym? She goes, I don't want to. And I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna force you. Um, and she decided to go back up and take a nap. Not a big deal, you know? She says she's gonna work out later and you know, I, and, and she probably will, she, she does that. So um, the thing is, is that I have to worry. No, no, that is not true. I never have to worry. That language there, I never have to worry. But I was tempted to worry. I, I was thinking, it's like, oh my gosh, is this association of, if I get up in the morning, am I less likely to go to the gym and work out together with Stephanie? That's something I look forward to. It's something that I love. It's something I'm willing to change if, if that needs to change for her, if, it, if, if, it, if all of a sudden me doing this necessitates a, a, a change in, and stuff like that. There are other ways Stephanie and I can intentionally spend time together. Those are things I'm navigating. Don't have answers for yet, it's too soon to tell, and I'm not going to be the person who jumps to conclusions and say, oh, well, okay, I'm gonna go back to getting rid of this early 4.30 in the morning thing. I'd re much rather just get up at 6.30 and go back to going to the gym just like we were before. I don't want to kind of rock the cart or whatever you call that. I just, no, no, it's too early to tell. So there are two days in a row we didn't work out together. You know what? That's not a pattern yet. That, that just happens to be some things. So we'll see how things go. Anyway, today she, she did that. And so did I go work out by myself at 7 a.m.? I'm like, no, uh, I don't have anything else pre-scheduled. There's nothing else planned except for Stephanie and I were gonna do something at 11. Uh, and I'm like, well, why don't I just work out at 10 o'clock today here at the house? And that's what I did. And so I got some other things accomplished before that. And then I went and worked out, did uh, one hour on the elliptical, burned over 500 calories, finished that up, went upstairs, got changed and dressed, and I, had, I said, Steph, do you wanna go uh, to grab some lunch before we do our Tony Robbins stuff? Because her and I are going through Tony Robbins materials together and we're taking notes. We're kind of like going, we're, we're going to, we're taking his, on, his uh, audio training program called Creating Lasting Change, and we're sitting down together as if we're taking it as a course, as a class, and we're taking notes. Uh, and, and so, yeah, that's something that we're doing together. But that was supposed to start at 11, and it's actually 11.14 right now. So obviously things are a little bit of a out of adjustment because we didn't work out together today. Not a big deal, things change, right? And so as a result of that, I'm just looking, we're right at 10 minutes, um, coming up on 10 minutes. You're probably at nine minutes on the recording here. I don't know, then there's the adding of this Instagram story. Anyway, probably right at 10 minutes. 
So anyway, um, things get out of, out of adjustment, not a big deal. So we have margin, we have flexibility in our schedule. Uh, she, she said, yeah, let's go out and have lunch together first. That's fine. And then we'll come back and do this Tony Robbins stuff. I said, great. And uh, it's going to take her some time to get ready. I said, hey, do I have 10 minutes to record a vlog? And she said, sure, go right ahead. So that's what I'm doing. Now I'm running out of time because I wanted to record for only 10 minutes, but I'm, I want to share just two more things since I'm doing one of these random vlog updates. Got some things in the mail recently from Amazon that I'm excited about. And I was using a Zoom recorder, which is not in here. I was gonna hold one up for you. You know what, I have an old one. No, this is this is not a Zoom recorder. I've got all kinds of gear down here. Do I have an, one of these? I have Zoom H4N Pro. I mean, I, yeah, this is a Zoom H4N Pro. This is the, an older version. Oh, this is the Zoom H4N Next. And I also have a Zoom H6. You know, I've got all these recorders. They would all work fine. Now that I've actually stopped selling equipment, I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, it's, it's here. I, I, since I've stopped selling requi equipment, I went back to my Roland recorder because I, my Roland R-05. And I did that because I love the Roland R-05 recorder. Uh, gosh, before that, it was the Roland R-09HR. Or wait, no, this, yeah, this is the HR. And then before this was the Roland dash, R-09. I've been a fan of the Roland recorders forever. Hold on. Forever. And, um, and, and so when they stopped making the R09, I, got, I went straight to the R09HR. When they stopped making the R09HR, it was a quite of a, a, an upgrade to go to the Roland R-05. But then they stopped selling the R-05 and they didn't have any obvious successor to the R-05. Um, they had an, a Roland R-06 or something like that or uh, they, they had some other Roland digital recorders, but not ones that were the direct successor to this. And I loved that recorder. And so I, because you can no longer buy this recorder, I had to find something to put into my podcast Answer Man equipment package. I chose the Zoom H4N Pro to do that. Uh, because I could buy those and include them in my package. And I figure if I'm gonna sell the Podcast Answer Man equipment package, I have to use what I sell. And so I was using the Zoom R, uh, or the Zoom H4N Pro in my setup. But when I completely said, I'm done with the Podcast Answer Man consulting brand, I'm, I'm done selling that package, as soon as I was done with that, I'm like, okay, Let's pull the Zoom recorder out. It's actually in Stephanie's office. Stephanie uses the Zoom recorder to, uh, with two ATR2100s connected to it. That's what she records her ALR, the Authentic Life Radio Podcast with. So she has that, and I went back to using the Roland R-05 recorder as my main recorder in the studio. Now, the other day, I recorded an episode of the Cliff Ravenscraft show where I went handheld. And I used to go handheld. I mean, I used to have a show called Pursuing a Balanced Life where I'd go walking outside and I would just have this in my hand as I was walking. I put a little windscreen over top of it, but I would just handheld, uh, handhold recording and do kind of like audio journaling. And so I love that format of the podcast. I've not done much of that or ever did that really, except for one, just let me show you what you can do with a digital recorder episode of the podcast Answer Man. But since it's been Podcast Answer Man since it's been transitioned over to the Cliff Ravenscraft show, I've never did a handheld episode, uh, not for the purpose of re showing what a digital audio recorder could do, but just doing an audio journal update for that show. And so I, I pulled my handheld recorder, took it to lunch with me one day, and I recorded an episode of the podcast, and it went over extremely well. And I loved it, and I like, I miss having those handheld episodes. And I'm gonna do more of them. The only thing is, is that I came in and I had to hook it back up. I had to adjust the input, input game to adjust back to what I, it is in the studio. Then I went to Franklin, Tennessee, and I'm like, I should take the recorder just in case I feel led to do one of those. And so I took it with me. I didn't use it, but I took it with me just in case. And then I had to come back and I had to hook it back up. And I'm like, okay, this is ridiculous. 
I'm gonna see if I can find myself another Roland R05 on the internet. See if I can buy one new in the box. If not, I'll reach out to somebody who maybe purchased the package that I sold years ago when I had the, that recorder. Maybe there's somebody out there who has upgraded to something different or somebody who's no longer using it. I might be able to buy one slightly used from them. But then when I was researching online, I found this. This is the Roland R-07, and I could tell by looking at it, this recorder is meant to be, this is the direct descendant of the Roland R-09, then HR, then 05, and then this. This thing is exactly that recorder, only with some upgrades. Nice new design. It actually looks smaller and feels smaller, but it's pretty much the same size. So it, it just looks more compact. Let's see here, do, do I have an affiliate link for this? I will create a, an affiliate link for this. It's m go to mindsetanswerman.com slash R07, the letter R07, all lowercase. Mindsetanswerman.com slash R07 will take you straight to the affiliate link for this recorder. Now, the other thing is, as you've noticed, I've been doing a lot of vlogs and using my dry erase board. And I am a huge fan of using my whiteboard. And the problem is, is that sometimes those markers go out and you have to go and use another one and then you pick up some of the color ones that are, you know, really good, but they don't show up as well and stuff like that. And I always hated going to the store. It's like, I just want a box of black markers. And you can sometimes find a package of four black markers, but you know, it's just like, listen, I just want a big, huge, gigantic box of black dry erase markers from Expo, chisel tip. These are my favorite markers. And well, on Amazon, I was able to find this package of 36 black dry erase markers, mindsetanswerman.com slash dry erase. Mindsetanswerman.com slash dry erase is where I found these. And so if you watch my vlogs and, and or anything else that I do where I'm sharing my whiteboard and you notice like, man, how does he have such perfect, very clear, uh, dry erase, easy to see all the time and with as much content that he produces. It's because I, I can probably get a brand new, I will probably start using a brand new marker about once a week or once every other week. And well, as you can see, I'm set for a while. All right, this ended up being a lot longer than I wanted. Guys, this is my personal vlog for uh, Friday, November 2nd, 2018. I appreciate each and every single one of you. If you'd like to know how we could work together, how I could help you take your life, your business, your message to the next level, check out cliffravenscraft.com and navigate through some of the things there on that site. Look forward to seeing you soon. Until next time, I encourage you to take every area of your life to the next level.